Thank you for joining us on another Cash or Trash episode. I'd like to warn everybody that some of these videos may be a little upsetting to some of you because we may be talking a little bit of trash about some of these brands, especially if you work for the company, if you own any of these brands, or if you're just a fan of them, we may talk a little bit of trash and knock them down a peg or two. But there may be some good stuff as well, so check it out. Hey everyone, it's Alan from Cobblers Plus and we're back at it with another Cash Trash episode. This is one that we have recrafted, so if you want to check out the full video of us recrafting it and giving it, you know, kind of a review on each individual component and everything like that, definitely check it out. The link is in the description. Otherwise, if you're here for just a short video, let's go ahead and get started. R. M. Williams is definitely one of those boots that I do like as far as, you know, how they're overall made. They come out of Australia and everything. Got nice leather uppers, good leather liners, um, and even their elastic material here that they use is fairly strong and durable as well. Um, there are a few things that I'm not too excited about. There are things like the little heel pads that they put on the inside here. They're kind of junk nylon type material with a really really th thin foam on it so that's something i'm not too excited about also i know some of you are William fans collectors enthusiasts are going to be really mad about this but the rubber sole that they have that comfort sole is not great you can see how the toe ripped right there this was when the boots came in that's how they came in with that chunk missing this rubber is not great for adhesives at all it doesn't like to cooperate with gluing um, if you make the stitches too tight or something or too close together it's going to rip right through it so there's a lot of things that I'm not too excited about mainly with this sole plus because of that they can't glue the uh, heel bases on so they rely on all, quite a few nails going through it which brings me to, to my next point the heel bases on these guys they do have two layers of leather and then the top one closest to the heel is a fiberboard which is most most people don't like the fiberboard but they do have to use that fiberboard because that rubber is not very you know forgiving in other words so they have to have the nails going through that fiberboard fiberboard material and have a good distribution of pressure on each nail and that's what the fiberboard is for so i understand why that has to be used if this uh sole is changed up a bit to something different like we did to the um, Vibram here, Vibram 700, then we can definitely use all leather stacked heel bases without any kind of issues. The adhesives work phenomenal with that sole and other types of rubbers. So let's go ahead and start giving a bit of a rating. Uh, material quality, just because of the rubber soles mainly and this little dinky thing. Um, and again, the fiberboard, I kind of have to give it that rating just because it's still fiberboard. It's not leather, but I understand why they have to use it. We're going to have to drop that down to a seven. Uh, build quality, definitely going to give them a nine. Very good build quality. Um, they definitely really keep an eye on everything. Very nice, tight fit and all that kind of stuff. Uh, comfort. 7.5 they're not really a comfort line or anything well they are a comfort line especially with that sole that's their comfort sole so that's why we'll bump it up to 7.5 but they're also still a bit more of a fashion boot uh support we're gonna bump that down to a seven just because it's not a supportive brand per se but it still has a number of great support features like a little bit of a tighter last right here in the arch area so it kind of hugs up that arch nicely so that's one thing you can keep in mind as well collectability probably a seven it's definitely one of those boots that if you have that's awesome um, if you don't might be might be worth looking into to add to your collection uh, show off ability I'll bump it down to a six just because not a lot of people know what arm moves are but also a lot of people do and there's a lot of brands out there that look very identical to this too so I don't know if you can really show it off all that much uh, maintenance is a nine um, we'll just drop it down just a little bit because there is something in the die I've noticed that it's not very strong in other words there's a lot of marks that are left behind if you don't maintain the uppers make sure you maintain the uppers recraftability is a 10 that's an easy one and uh price point is about a medium high it's not too uh, crazy high but it's also not a solid medium it's about medium to high roughly some people might be a little too high some people might be just on point as well um 
This one is going to be in the Goodyear fashion category, Goodyear welted, sorry, category um, for fashion kind of because they're not really a work boot. They're not one of those boots that you can just you know destroy and demolish. They seem to be a little bit more into that fashion trendy look, the hipster look even too. I know I've got a couple of customers that they full blown say I'm a hipster and everything and they, they've got RM Williams and stuff. So um, as far as cash or trash, I'm gonna give these a cash just because that price point is good on par with their quality build their materials are great excluding a few little minor things like the sole and this guy but if you get one of their leather sold ones that's definitely a better choice i would personally go with the leather sold ones their leather soles are very good they're not obviously a jr leather quality one but they're still very good and everything the comfort sole personally i'd stay away from um just because it it's not all that great you saw that chunk missing out of it so overall Definitely a cash for me. If I was to go out and uh, decide I want to get myself a pair, I definitely would. But I'd go with the leather sold ones, not the comfort sole. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, I'm looking out the window just because um, we're still open and I'm trying to get this video recorded. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you didn't uh, or did, sorry. Share the video with anyone that's an RM Williams enthusiast or is wondering about getting a pair. And make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell icon to be notified about our next videos coming out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.